question from the audience. They were wondering why the, Chris, uh, why the chicken crossed the road. Um, <laughs> and I would say to get to the gingerbread house because it's the holiday special, so we make holiday jokes. <laughs> All right, our next guest is surely no stranger to the stage. Um, Hailing from nearby Standish, Veronica Drushniak has long been involved in performances. Growing up, she danced across the stage along with Main State Ballet, including being featured in I'm a Don, Don Quixote, Swan, <laughs> Swan Lake, yeah, Sleeping Beauty, and The Nutcracker. All this while, uh, while taking classes at USM and graduating, Summa cum laude, no, no less. <laughs> um, she can, and after that, she continued her career as a professional dancer, this time setting sail on the high seas with Cunard Cruises. Cunard Cruises. On the, I'm not good at pronunciation. On the <laughs> Queen Mary II. Um, this gave her the chance to visit over 40 countries and six continents uh, throughout her two seasons with the cruise. Um, so what is Veronica up to today? Well, she is gracing a different type of stage in the upcoming Miss America pageant where she will represent Maine as Miss Maine 2023. <laughs> Veronica is bringing her infectious smile and passion for giving back to the community with her as she hopes to be Miss America 2024. Let's hope she does that. So everyone, please welcome Veronica Drushnia. <laughs> Um, so Veronica, you let's talk about the Miss Maine thing. Um, sure. When did this? When did you even think of being or auditioning or how does this work? Yeah. So <laughs> I, how does this work? Is a very good question that I would love to know the answer to if anybody knows. Um, I started competing in Miss Maine in 2022. One of my good friends from college reached out to me via Facebook DM and said, "Are you around?" And I said. Sure, for you, anything, because she's also a director and very interesting in the arts community. And she said, would you be interested in doing Miss Maine? We don't have enough people. Hmm. And I said, no, thank you. That's not for me. And then I thought about it, and I said, well, what a weird thing to happen to my inbox. Why don't I give it a go? So I competed in 2022. I was the runner-up. And I became too old for the program immediately. Oh, so then I okay. said, that was, that was fun. Oh, well. What an interesting story to tell on Phil West someday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I aged back in. They changed the age of the, con the age requirements for the contestants. So I aged back in and I thought to myself, what if I gave it one more effort? And here I am. You are a performer. If yes. you're anything like me, you have a lot of embarrassing stories. Um, yes, my most embarrassing performing story would involve a quick change gone wrong. Yeah. <laughs> The fastest quick change I've ever had to make was 14 seconds <laughs> from the time I left the stage carrying a prop to the time I had to be seated on stage ready for the next number to begin. Hmm. And in this 14 second change, I somehow put both of my legs into the same hole of the leotard. Oh no. And I did not notice <laughs> until I was slowly being turned on on the revolve for a very scandalous chair routine, <laughs> and I, I felt a breeze as I came to face the front of the audience. And I realized I needed to leave very quickly or else I was going to be even worse yeah. off than I was. <laughs> um, so let's not, uh, we can't do that here. Let's not repeat that. Okay, <laughs> good. I was just, I got worried. I <laughs> you all were laughing. I was like, oh, oh God. That's up my rate if we're going to repeat. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. 